Now, not much is known about Terry Chanley, so today Eyewitness News went to Wadesville to try to find out more information. Raven Ford is here. She's just back from Wadesville, and you spoke with one of Chanley's neighbors tonight. Well, Brandon, Chanley is from Waysville, that's in Posey County. I did speak with his brother-in-law who says he and the family are holding off on commenting until they find out more information, but he did fill me in on more information about who Chanley was. He says Chanley was a family man and a father of two. They say EPD's description of him acting odd isn't the same man they know. One of Chanley's neighbors says she was shocked to hear the news. really shocked. I mean, you know, I only knew him in passing, but he seemed like a really nice guy. Well, I have a concealed carry permit, and I don't carry it with me all the time. But I do have a concern that if I get pulled over, how are they going to react just seeing that on my license? Well, I do have a lot of respect for our officers. I mean, they put their lives on the line every, every day for us. The family also says it is looking for more answers to what happened and is holding off again on making a comment until then. Now, Brendan, they are asking for privacy as they grieve in this sudden loss. And neighbors tonight saying this is out of character for him. That you're they burning. Are. All right, Raven, thank you so much. And this is an ongoing investigation, but the bottom line here tonight, EPD saying that the officer involved did nothing wrong. He did everything by the book. Of course, we'll have much more on the timeline of the events that happened coming up in a live report on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, we'll send it by, back live to you.